Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and on today's tips and tricks, we're going to use the Longevity 200DX, and I'm going to use the high pulse settings. I'm going to talk about when to use it and why I use it. With the high pulse setting, when I use it is I tend to lean towards when I'm welding some thinner metal, maybe starting to get down to around 40 thousandths or so. And why is I try to take the heat out of it. I try to use a quick flicker, maybe about 30 cycles per second. And I don't hold it there very long. I just try to get a quick heat in it and allow it to melt, freeze, and then me to move along. So let's see how it welds. Here you can see I have the pulse set to high. My pulse width is right about 20%. My pulse frequency is about 200 hertz. And then my pulse current, I'm set up somewhere around about 40, 45 amps. This is what our pedal looks like and what our setting is for the 40 thousandths. For my torch setup, I'm using a 1 16th, 2% serrated tungsten, sharpened to a point. I am flowing with a gas lens at 7 liters per minute and I have a number 7 gas lens cup that I'm using on it. I have a piece of 40 thousandths cold rolled all tacked together and I got the pulse we're looking about 30 to 40 pulses a second and what you're going to do is you're going to see it take the heat out and it's going to be a very noticeable pulse. What I'm doing here is I'm getting set up I'll initiate an arc, start to form a puddle and then I'll add some filler rod which is the ER70 S6 in 1 16th in diameter. Once I got some heat in the material, I'm trying to move through this as quickly as possible. I want to keep as much heat out of this material as possible. 40 thousandths isn't real thick, and these strips are only about an inch and a quarter wide. So as I'm coming here towards the end, I got a good rhythm, dipping and moving, but now I'm going to start lifting up on the foot pedal, taking a little bit of heat out of it, and then I'll back off, and I'll leave my shielding cup there for the next three seconds to cool the wood. That's it for the tips and tricks. I hope you learned something. Now get out in the shop and go practice. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.